So in this video here, we're just going to have a chat with the ChatGPT model from OpenAI. We're just going to ask it some questions. We're going to like act like just see how we can get into a new topic. If we want to learn some new things, we can get some like details about that. How do we get into like learning new networks and so on? So let's just start with that. So we're just going to ask it, how do I get into like uh, deep learning? And then we'll actually just get an answer from it. We have this really natural way where it's just writing out the answer. We can just scroll up to the top here again and see like to get into deep learning, you'll need to have a strong fun foundation in mathematics, uh, particularly in calculus and linear algebra. And then we can also see like some different kind of like typical um, workflow. So we have like deep learning algorithms such as Python, TensorFlow. So these are the frameworks and programming languages that we can use. And then again, when we have strong fundamentals, we can like start like uh, learning about deep learning. We can use like online courses, tutorials, reading books, papers, and so on. We can see the different kind of like libraries and frameworks such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. Uh, so we can actually like, experiment with deep learning and build our own model. So it actually like, gives a pretty good overview over like how can we actually like, get into deep learning. Okay, so let's say that we now look up these things here and then we actually like, want to get started. So how do I train a neural network in PyTorch? Let's see if it can actually like, answer that. To train a neural network in PyTorch, you will need the following. Install the PyTorch and machine, import the necessary PyTorch model uh, modules such as Torch NN, Torch Optim, and so on. So this is just really crazy results that we get. And here we can even see that we get an example of like uh, a code snippet. So this is just really crazy. Like I'm just mind blown. I'm just really mind blown about like all the details that we get. We can even like make it write code. So if you don't know like how we can actually like, train neural networks in PyTorch, you can just go in here, throw it into ChatGPT, and it will actually like, come out with the output. So here, install PyTorch in your machine, and we can just see if we get all these different things. Evaluate the trained model on the validation data for uh, to check for overfitting. Here's an example of how this might look in code. We import a different kind of module. It even like writes comments for us. I'm just I'm just really mind blown. I can't really stop like stop la laughing. This is just <laughs> this is just really crazy. If this is not like, if this is not like a milestone towards like AGI, so this is like you can like like there's no human smarter than this ChatGPT model. It just has like so much knowledge. You can ask it anything. It comes with it 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 comes like with really detailed answers in just a couple of seconds. So again, this is just really cool. Let's just verify here that it actually like does what we want. We import a different kind of modules. Uh, we define a neural network architecture. So this is a really simple um, MLP or like here we have like the input layer and we have the output layer. So it's basically just like a single input and a single output layer. So we have two fully connected layers. We do the forward pass, we have the input, we pass it through the first layer, we get the output of the first layer, throw it into the second layer, we get the output and then we just return that. Then we load the training data. So we have load data. So we will actually like have a, a load data function. So we need to set that up first. Then we get our train inputs, our train targets, and then we can create our data loaders based on that. So we can specify the bat size and shovel and so on. So this is the exact uh, workflow that you actually like do in Py uh, PyTorch if you want to actually like train your own models. You set up the loss function after that. You also set up your optimizer. So it just uses MSE, MSE laws, uh, Atom optimizer. So these are probably like the most common one ones used. So again, it also uses uh, like the most common ones it just gives you a really good insight into how we can actually like train models. Again, we just started without we, we just started out with actually like asking it how do we get into deep learning? Then we just researched all the things that it actually like responded to us. Now we actually want to get into more details. How do we actually like train the models then? And then we just get this really nice script that we can basically just copy paste in and customize for our own task. Again, we just train the model here. We have a training loop. We just have a for loop running through all our um, all our uh, epochs, and then we just have our input and targets in our train data. So that will be our batches. We have the forward pass here, so we have a model. We throw in the inputs, we get the outputs out, we calculate the loss here with our loss criterion, and then we just call zero grad here on our optimizer, uh, and then we basically just do the forward pass here with PyTorch. And then we have optimizer steps, so we update the model parameters. Then we just keep doing that for each batch and for all the epochs that we want to train our models for. When we're done training our model, we'll just save the model here. So it even like just saves the models directly. Um, after that, towards that save, 
and here it acts like just throws something uh, out. Of course, it's just a simple example, and there are many other things that you might want to do, such as defining a validation set to check for overfitting, adding regularization to the model, or using like learning rate scheduler to adjust the learning rate during training. So again, again, this is just a simple example, but you can actually use this as a baseline. Um, so let's say, how can we actually like, um, uh, what is a uh, CNN? So what is the CNN? Question mark. We just throw that into it. Uh, a convolutional neural network is a type of neural network that is specifically designed to work with spatial data. Um, so here we can ask, like, how do I set up a CNN in PyTorch? So that our convolutional neural network, you need to do the following. Again, it just throws all these different kind of things, and let's see if we actually like, get a code snippet, snippet snippet of that as well. So here an example, it just gives an example again. So in the other example, it was just like um, a fully connected layers, input layer and output layer. Here it actually just uses uh, convolutional layers. Again, we just have a single convolutional layer. We do max pooling and then we have a linear layer and then the rest here is pretty much the same. But again, this is just really cool that we can just get these baselines for acts like training the model. Let's see if it can actually like do a bit more complex things. So how do I load a pre-trained model with Hagen, Hagen face. So I'll just try to write that out. To load a pre-trained model from Hagen face, again, we just get a code snippet, pip install transformers, from transformers, like import auto model, and then we can basically just specify what model to actually like load in from our pre-trained ones. So again, <laughs> we just have like from transformers, import auto model, we have auto model dot from pre-trained, we can specify the model that we actually like want to load in. And then we can basically just specify the number of layers, the hidden size, the number of the attention heads in our transformers. Once you've loaded your pre-trained model, you can use it just like any other PyTorch model. And then we can basically just take our inputs, throw them into a model, and then we'll get our outputs, which is our actual predictions from our pre-trained model. Here we can also like fine tune and pre-train a model if we have if we're going to use like transfer learning. So let's see if we don't know like what transfer learning is. This is basically like what it's doing, but again. We don't really get information about that, so we don't know what it is. What is transfer learning? Transfer learning is a process of using knowledge and or experience gained while solving one problem to solve a different problem, but related problem. So this is basically using a pre-trained model uh, and then train it on your own custom data set. So you actually like use what it has learned in the pre-trained models, and then you pr probably just take your head and train the head of your models on your own data set and then you will actually have a complete model uh, that can do predictions on your data set even though you ha don't have to like train it from scratch with random initialized weights we can just try and uh, some other different kind of things here in the end uh, to end it off so uh, what is the most complex thing that you know of it's difficult to say what the most complex thing is but here we can actually see that uh, we have something inside of in the field of computer, uh, computer science, some of the most common uh, quantum computing. So here we can actually like, see the memory that it has, so it acts like knows uh, that we're actually like, talking about, and I'm interested in like computer science, AI, and so on. Uh, so I actually like, I actually like, gave it this question here without like throwing anything else into the prompt or like into the chat, and it actually like, came up with something inside of the brain. But here it just remembers that we're actually like, having this conversation. Um, conversation about like computer science, AI in general. Here we can also see something with like in biology, um, process in the biology, um, and all these different kind of things. This is just really cool. And here we're just going to end off with a really complex problem: How does the brain work? So we'll see if it's is if it's actually able to to answer that. It takes a bit longer here. We can see that it acts like it does a lot more processing compared. To all the other prompts here that we're in. Now we're starting to write an answer. The brain is a complex organ that is responsible for controlling and coordinating the function of the body. It is made of a billion of nerve cells and so on. Uh, we get a bit of um, we get a bit of information here. So this is basically just it's probably just like from Wikipedia or something like that. But again, you don't need to like look it up. You'll just get the answers directly here in the prompt. You can just keep on talking, making corrections to the bot here, answer like uh, like ask follow up questions, do uh, follow up corrections and so on. Um, overall, the brain is an incredible, incredible, complex and dynamic organ and scientists are still learning about how it works and how it is organized. But up here, we get a really nice and detailed explanation of um, how the brain acts like works. 
So this is a really cool model. It can be used for a lot of different kind of things. I'm definitely going to use it way more in the future. This is the new Google. Like this is the new Google. New Google. You don't have to like ask your questions to Google. Go figure out where to find it. You need to like scroll different kind of like Google pages. Just go into Open uh, Open AI's ChatGPT. Throw in some answers if you want to do like different kind of things. You can also make it like. You can make it act like write out recipes for you and um, write code for you as we saw in this video. You can ask it different kind of like questions. You can also like just have a chat with it. So it's really cool. I'm going to use it way more in the future. This is the new Google. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember to subscribe button and bell notification on the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. I'm definitely going to uh, to cover OpenAI's ChatGPT here way more in the future. I'm going to like have videos where I explain all the details of how do you react like train these models, what are language models, how are they trained for like chatbots. I also have tutorials on this channel here where we actually like, cover the basics of deep learning. So how we are we actually like, creating neural networks from scratch, what are all these different kind of like parameters, the optimizers, regularization and so on. So, so most of these terms here that we already saw in this video. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else on the next video guys. Bye for now.